they yeah, love you. In here, they love you. You get that everywhere you go. People are that crazy about it. Not in the lobby and uh, <laughs> not out on uh, Fifth Avenue. This is it's very nice to hear. You. Nice to see you again. Now you were here about nine months ago, eight or nine months ago, was it? December, roughly. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you w came into the building, moved from Chicago, started your show. Right. And was it like a week into it, you had that unpleasantness in the audience? What was that nonsense? Oh, well, that was a uh, not too funny uh, hoax. Can you uh, laugh at it now, or are you still steamed? About well, it? you know, I don't. Uh, I I don't have a lot of enthusiasm about giving the guy more publicity, but it was. Well, don't uh, mention his. his well, name. it was fainting. They people pretending to faint. And yeah. Of course. Uh, Everybody said, "Well, welcome to New York." Yeah, <laughs> but but at first there there was all sorts of uh, rumors that it was something in the uh, ventilation well, system. Well, it scared the, me. I thought yeah. it was uh, catching. You know, you can. Uh, there's a sympathetic response that some people, enough people faint. Yeah, a lot of people. But it must have been really annoying at the time. Well, I still snap my head. I still when I when there's a noise in the studio that's not explained, it shook me. Oh yeah, tell you, more than I more than I realized that it did. Yeah, uh, well, I got all kinds of information here about you in the newspaper. This is from the uh, the Washington. No, I'm sorry. This is from the. Uh, uh, New York Post. That must be true. <laughs> it says here uh, you were on Larry King's uh, cable news network uh, program. Yeah. And you're talking about possibly being a political candidate. Did I say that? Well, let's see what it says. Yep, I won't have to spend a million on a campaign, you said, and be beholden to anyone because I already have the name and face recognition, said Phil. Yeah, I said, wouldn't it be interesting to go to Washington beholden to nobody. Yeah. And it'll make people in Washington chuckle. Um, but I, I have, I'm very flattered at, uh, at the thought that somebody might think it would uh, be a good idea for me. I, I, we should say that, uh, that the idea does not get a standing ovation everywhere, and I have no plans to run. But, uh, but in the back yeah. of your mind, before well, you fall asleep who wouldn't want to be? What, <laughs> what, what young American boy wouldn't want to be uh, in Congress? Yeah. Marla would like to see her run, wouldn't she? Or a young American woman be in Congress. <laughs> um, but that does raise a, an interesting question, because you really have done 19... How, how many years have you been on the show? 18 the, years. 18 years of campaigning mm -hmm. behind you already, in essence. Uh, <laughs> but I think the kind of show I do uh, brings with it its own baggage. I, I, you know, I don't kiss a baby and wave a flag every day. And uh, I think... Uh, I, am, I am telling you the truth when I say I do not consider myself a shoe-in for elective office by any means. So whether that that happens, I'd like to get a couple of more bucks in the bank. You know, I got bills to pay. Yeah, that's what you say now, but what about after a couple of drinks? Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, by the way, I never, I never, uh, I wanted to thank you for having me on your show. I got a lot of response. People said that the uh, people I normally don't hear from, and they thought it was a real nice show, and thank you very much for that. Uh, and we re-ran it. I'll tell you, yeah, we I appreciate run with that. the winners. You know what, you know what I like, the woman at the end, the very last question, after all of these people have been very nice, very pleasant, and uh, inquisitive about things that really didn't make too much difference, one woman said, uh, I have a question, what, why are you here? <laughs> she said, are you just trying to get better ratings for your show? And I thought, yeah, well, that's, of course, that's what I was there for. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you very much. You made, it, you made it a lot you did, of fun. You did well. Uh, we have another little news item. This time it's from the Washington Post. And uh, you have received a good guy award. You and Alan Alda. Well, there's more than just the two of us. We have... Uh, a dozen men who have contributed to the advancement of women in politics will be named good guys by the National Women's Political Caucus. It's always you and Alan Alda, though, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't get to see Alan uh, that often. I... I admire his work and uh, enjoy a, a friendship with him, but I can only speculate on how he feels about the press dragging me into uh, his copy. I I, uh, I think both of us are probably a little bit uh, I don't know. It's nice, unsettled by that. I mean, we. I'll speak for myself. I'm married to a woman who chuckles every time she reads about this uh, male who's so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> is is there trouble at home that we ought to know about? Well, well. we'll no, there's no trouble. Well, anyway, congratulations you got him in the on that. Section. Okay, now this is a really impressive-looking thing, the human animal. Now, it seems to me you couldn't have covered a, 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 a broader topic than the human animal. That's true. It, uh, it's a three-year uh, project. It's, the, it's some of the scholarship uh, of more than 50 of the brighter lights in the behavioral sciences community, academicians from all over this country and Europe as well. Why are we behaving this way? That's... And, and what way are we behaving? Badly. I mean, uh, well, listen, we have half the nations of the world at this moment are at war. We can't wait to commit 
our nation's crown jewels to more military uh, hardware. We seem to be scared to death of each other. We are putting more locks on our doors. Most violence is male. Why is that? Uh, no other species kills itself more often, more frequently, and with greater efficiency than, than we do. And all this book does is say, look, we've been really preoccupied with the, the rockets and, and the hard technical sciences, and we have failed to look at ourselves. And if there was ever a time to do it, let's do it now. We're not pretending it's all here, but I think what this might do is trigger people to, uh, first of all, there's an awful lot of scholarship out there that is just being ignored. We run full tilt away from this issue. We just don't want to take a look at ourselves. And all this book is saying, you know, our, our, it's about our kids' future. It's now in the nuclear age is the time to do it. So is, is there one reason or two reasons that the things are, are you think, worse now than ever well, before? Um, is that true? Is this the worst they've ever been? Well, first of all, we have certainly the ability to kill each other more often and more yeah. efficiently. Well, there's, there's more people, but I'm talking about representing the, the population increase. I mean, you know, uh, uh, per capita, isn't it, is it worse than it was? I think we have more imaginary lines now. I think we have, uh, I'm able not only to hate you for some, something you might have done, but I'm also having a large brain which, which enables me to go to war with you or be suspicious of you or to arm myself against you, not because of what you do, but because of what I think you might do. Yeah. And then I can go even further and imagine that you already did it. We go to war for that reason, not for what the other guy does, but for what we think he's going to do. And Suspicions, result, paranoia. It's an amazing thing. Yeah, I mean, they, they baboons have been... don't have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you, uh, and they certainly don't have. Uh, now, now, what's your point there, Phil? Exactly. Uh, well, <laughs> my point is, you get you get some you get extra baggage with an enlarged brain. You get this magnificent, most natural selection most magnificent natural selection of all the human brain, as far as we know. There is nothing like it. It's majestic, but we also get all these other things. No, no let, for a second, did you cover things like uh, uh, what other animals use tools? Uh, as a matter of fact, there, as a matter of fact, we do. There are, there are certainly more than a few examples. There's, I think of, that I know of a couple. Prim There's primates use leaves to, uh, right. not very pleasant idea, but uh, to, to do what? get insects out of the barks of trees for consumption. Oh yeah, well, we do the same thing with dip. Pretty much as we do. What kind of deal? Uh, but isn't there a kind of a, a seabird that uh, uh, also drops a, a shellfish yes, on rocks? Yeah. Uh, isn't that using a tool? Uh, right, and there's also uh, marine life that actually fires mm -hmm. a, uh, a, a globule of water. And, and I've also seen a dog change a tire, but that's a whole different deal. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. I'm sorry. That's all right. uh, uh, but so now, what, what does that mean? Does that mean anything? That a dog changes a tire? No, no, no. no. That, 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 yeah, I mean, we're talking about things you've learned about well, other species here. Well, look, we are, we are, uh, we evolved in a, we came up from the ocean floor and then the desert floor became bipedal and we had to be a little nervous. I mean, we selected for an arousal mechanism, which I think is especially triggered, easily triggered in the males. That's, Hollywood learned that a long mm -hmm. time ago. Murder rate is far higher among men than among women. Uh, oh, absolutely. I mean, we, uh, Murder, violence, especially spontaneous violence, is almost exclusively, not totally, but almost exclusively a male exercise. We are, it is easier to arouse the, the, the mechanism than it is to pacify it. That's what the Three Stooges is all about. Bonk, <laughs> me, uh, we, are, we like it. We're, that's what Rambo's about. And I think what's happened is we've overlooked. Speaking of animals who can use tools, um, <laughs> uh, all that, all that. The, well, let me, let me just make the point that uh, all we're saying here is this. The book, uh, the book <laughs> says a lot about who we are and where, we, where we've been, and I think uh, presents it in a way that, uh, that is not at all a yeah. textbook, but a way that I think will encourage, especially young people, to, take, to, to maybe even pursue this as a... Is this an easy read for laymen? I think so. Yeah. I, you know, I understand it. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, obviously, we, we, we prepared it for, uh, for an audience that uh, is not a... Is it graduate all, school it on the market? Harvard. Oh, yeah. How's it's it going? There. It's floating out there pretty good. I could ask you one picture about this question because we were debating this up in the office. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, just bear with me. This is uh, an illustration. Freud was his own first patient. He began by analyzing a boyhood dream of his mother being carried by two, uh, two bird-headed creatures. He did. Okay. And then we have a, a photo. This book, by the way, is in, packed with photos. Now, there we have. This is a depiction of that. Now, look at this. Now, is that Marlowe? <laughs> Did you do this at your place? 
Marlo would want me to tell you that it is not, Marlo. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, good luck with the book. Uh, now, what was that? What are they, why are they whining? Don't know. It's all right. Uh, and congratulations on almost uh, your first year here in New York. It's and with been the show. exciting. It's better than ever, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's been an exciting yeah. 10 months. The audiences have been sensational, as it's clear yours are. This is a very creative building. It's fun, and isn't it? I get to steal yeah. ideas from you. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, nice to see you again, Good Phil. Good to see you, David. Thank, thank you very you much. I appreciate you being here. We'll be back here after station identification. <laughs>